Good morning, everyone. It's great to see all of you here again, year after year, with a lot of new faces at the audience as well. It's definitely proved the fact that customers want to learn about customer success. Customer success is still maturing, though we definitely see it everywhere. I spent a lot of time in the roads in the past month, and I heard organizations still asking most of the questions. How should we run our customer success? What's the best way to drive it? And yes, all the organization has many questions. Answers I found less, but many, many questions. How should I drive customer success? But looking at the audience here, I can definitely see a lot of new industries. We can see SaaS companies, health companies, financial companies, media companies, which is awesome to see that customer success is definitely going mainstream. Each one of us, it doesn't matter in which technology, in which industry, want to be treated in the right when, way when we are a customer. And we definitely want to make sure that we will enable you to achieve that. So the main question, and guys started to talk about them, that I heard on the field when I spoke with customers were, first of all, what is the ROI? How can I prove the ROI to my organization? Each one of us, when we are driving customer success, is under a lot of pressure from the management team to prove the value, to prove the contribution of customer success to the bottom line of the company. It's hard. How do I prove the ROI of customer success and how do I ensure that it will be happening along the way as opposed to wait for it for the last minute? The second question is how do I accelerate? I did a very successful engagement with one account, but now I need to continue with that. I want to grow whatever I'm doing. I want to accelerate to bigger teams. I want to take one success and make sure that it will happen everywhere. And last, how do I grow it? Like I have my team, I want to make sure that I'll have a bigger team. More people will be able to drive customer success in my organization. Consider Trustpilot. Trustpilot is one of our customers. Trustpilot, Trustpilot is one of the leading companies to collect customer reviews in order to boost their, their website traffic later on. Trustpilot managed to double their revenue in the last years that they are spending with Tatango. Three years doubling their revenue. I think it's awesome. I think each one of us want to have a company with that kind of revenue. How did they do it? They made sure that they are putting a lot of focus on three main things. The first one of them was they had a very tailored process towards the different segments of the market that they are working with. SMBs versus enterprise. For example, high value customers versus volume customers. Each one of them had a very clear process, including engagements, communications in the form of campaigns, and different goals in order to make sure that they are driving the right value. They managed to prove the ROI that they are delivering to the company at any point in time. They came up with a very clear dashboard that showed What's the value that my customer success organization delivering to the company? And last, they managed the team to goals. They made sure that each one of the team members will have a very clear goal that he needs to promote, a very clear goal that he can be measured towards. By those three things, they manage to double their business. Now, part of the things you might be able to do leveraging uh, Excel files maybe with dashboards and KPIs, very hard, but maybe with lots of investment, lots and lots of investment, you might be able to do. But imagine the fact that they wanted to correlate specific activities to specific, um, specific activities to specific value numbers. How do I know which activities am I actually doing the driving value? What are the activities that I should promote my team to continue and do more? What are the things that I should stop doing? It was impossible to do it back then. And we'll listen to you. We'll listen to what we learned from Task Trust Pilot. We'll listen to what we learned from many other companies out there. And in order to make sure that you can achieve a very fast customer success and very successful customer success engagement, we took all the critical things and made sure we will deliver them. And this is where Tango Spark come into the picture. 
So Tango Spark is the solution that will enable you to transform the way you are driving your customer success. We are leveraging data in order to make sure that you will drive your customer success engagement in weeks, not in months, not in years, in weeks, which is awesome. What we did, we took the, success, we took the concept of a journey of a customer and we broke it to specific success blocks. Each one of them represent a portion of your journey, which we will see in a minute. What are success blocks? Guy mentioned them a little bit before. Now I want to make sure that each one of us understand what is it. Success block can represent a step in your journey. Success blocks are measurable. They are modular, first and foremost. You can make sure that you have different success blocks. They are very, very easy to implement, and you'll see it in a minute. You can measure your success with each one of the success blocks. So imagine that you have an onboarding success block. You can define very clear goals and make sure that whatever you're doing in Tango will be towards those goals. You will be able to define success blocks that will meet your journey. So we came out of the box with specific success blocks, and you will see it in a minute. But then each one of you for his company will be able to define additional success blocks. So we took a lot of best practices that we know how is the best way to drive customer success, and we added them to Tatango. But you have the ability to define how it will look like in your organization. And last point, success blocks are scalable. It's very easy to take one and to make sure that you will have the exact same practice for different success blocks as well. Just before we'll drill down to the product, I wanna make sure that it's very clear where you will be able to see success blocks. So as you can see on the screen over there, you can see that success block appear right now on the left menu. As part of the menu of the Tango, you can see the various success blocks. The ones that you can see right now are the ones that we are coming with out of the box. You will be able, as I mentioned, to define your own success block and add your own methodology and best practices to Tango. Let's see what will be the, um, I guess, the experience of each one of you when he will bring Tango Spark to his organization. Let's switch to the demo. So what you can see right now on the screen is the Tango Spark. First and foremost, you can see the My Portfolio area, which is the area most of you are familiar with. This is where the CSM will come every morning and will manage his own day-to-day -day activity. The work that he has, he will manage there, the tasks that he has, and he will monitor the health of the accounts that he is working with. But then after that, you have the different success blocks that we talked about. As a VP of customer success, once I brought Tango to my organization, I can look on each one of the success blocks and get a very clear visibility what has been happening in my organization. In this case, with expansion, I can see the number of opportunities that are currently open. I can see how much revenue each one of them will bring. I can see what are the products that are currently owned by the customers and how much expansion opportunity do I still have? So to Tango Spark will enable you to see this data very quickly for each one of the success blocks that you can see here on the left side. Expansion, escalation, whatever you will choose. You will define what are the success blocks, what are the KPIs, and what are the goals that you would like to put. Let's drill down to one of them. and Look on onboarding, for example. I can see here in my dashboard, what are the onboarding projects that are currently on the table? I can see that I have six onboarding projects. Three of them are delayed, which I definitely need to check, and in a minute I'll do it. And I can see how many projects are currently escalated. There's lots of new other value that I can see here as well. I can see what was the customer experience at the end of onboarding, which is very important. We all wanna ensure that our customers will have a good experience at the beginning in order to make sure they'll continue and be our customers. I can see the license utilization, all the metrics that I have defined. For example, what is the license utilization versus the target, which is 30, that was defined in my company. One of the things that I mentioned at the beginning was that I have delayed projects, and I have to make sure that none of, none of my projects will be delayed. 
what's the experience that I can have from here as a VP of customer success? I'll drill down and I'll look exactly what has been happening with my project. Imagine that you're sitting in um, an account review with your customers and you can see exactly what are the different engagements that you have with each one of the customers. Just to remind you, these are the three accounts that I have currently delayed as part of my onboarding. I can see the latest engagement with them that happened in the context of onboarding. What has been happening in the organization in order to make sure that onboarding will be happen on time. And the nice thing here is that I can take an action as part of my account review to make sure that whatever problem I had, I'll be able to solve it. So imagine that you're sitting with your CSM, with your team, and you can take an action right away to make sure that you are promoting this account so onboarding won't be delayed anymore. You can take various um, types of actions. You can uh, define a touch point. You can define a task. You can make sure that the account will be pinned so later on I'll be looking at it. And you can also make sure that you are using the assist capability that was added. Leveraging machine learning, what we have been doing is we learn the activities that you are taking with account. And assist will make sure that every time you are taking an account, an activity, sorry, with an account, we will learn that. And next time, we will offer that as one of the suggestions, which means that if I'm doing something and it works correctly, my team members can mimic that as well later on because we will be able to suggest them what is the right way to handle this account. It's awesome, right? You can see all the problems right away. You can take an action and make sure that whatever problems you had, this is handled right away without drilling down and looking on any other data. Some more capabilities and additional data that I want to make sure that is explored here is, as I mentioned before, success block includes all the data for a specific activity in my organization. So if I'm looking on onboarding here, we looked on the dashboard, but I can also see which groups of customers are currently is being, ha being handled in onboarding. I can see them by different groups. What are the accounts that are currently part of onboarding that are SMB's account versus enterprise account? All of it in the context of onboarding. I can see what are the success block, uh, success plays. What is the book of business of my company that I would like to run? I can see what are the campaigns, just making sure that the communication with any onboarding account will be the right one. And also, we've added the ability to manage best practices as part of every success block. So now, we can share with you to tango best practices in this area, and you can add your own best practices if you will choose to do so. So imagine how nice is it. Right now, we are sharing things that we learned from the market. What is the best way to drive onboarding? in SMB's account versus enterprise account, and you will be able also to add any data that you have in your company. And this is something that will repeat itself for every success block. So if you're looking, for example, on winbacks, one of the things that I want to look, or escalations that I have in my company, I can define what are the resources in each one of them to drive the right activity. Let's go back to the slides, please. So what have we seen? First and foremost, to Tango Spark enable you to define the goal and to make sure everyone in the company that is focused and part of customer success will be looking at the goal at any point in time and will make sure he delivers to the goal. Second, we took the customer success journey and we break it to different modular um, units of value for you and for your customers, each one of them in the form of success blocks. Some of them we will be sharing with you out of the box. Some of them uh, you will be able to add according to your company methodology. All of the things that you will be seeing going forward will be based on customer data. As Guy shared this morning, we did a lot of analysis on the data that we have and the data that customers are sharing with us. We made sure that whatever you will see into Tango Spark will be based on customer data, customer experience with proven results. And last, in the future, we will be able to provide also benchmarking 
So Guy talked about how do I rank? Want to make sure that we will provide you a lot of value of what's going on in the industry. I'm doing on, on, my onboarding experience in three weeks or four weeks. Does it resonate? Is that the number that most of the industry is using? What's the best way to do onboarding? And how can I leverage other companies in the market in order to make sure that I'm doing the right processes. With that, I want to invite all of you to Tango booth that is open, will be open in a few minutes upstairs to see how Tango Spark will help you deliver faster results with your customer success. Myself and the rest of the team will be there to help you and make sure that you are getting a great experience seeing Tango Spark in action. Thank you.